Hello everyone, I am the Moy Chicken and welcome back to more Demon's Crest. In the last episode, we went into the forest and then we went under the forest and we fought watery creatures and now we all go back to the forest because there are there is still more for me to do here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going back this time to find out what's going on actually in the forest rather than just immediately going into a cave and avoiding the woolly caterpillars which are still horrifying because they have human faces. Ugh. You know, that, that is one thing about this game that, um... So, I mentioned before that this game is set in the same universe as the, uh... Ghouls and Ghosts, or Ghosts and Goblins, or all of that. Basically, Arthur's Crusade to finally go on a date with Guinevere. Um... And I feel like as good as the, as the character designs in that game were... Uh, because a lot of the monster designs were really cool in Super Ghouls and Ghosts, don't get me wrong... I think they're better here, and I think what does it for me with the with the uh, designs in this is that um, I feel like Super Ghouls and Ghosts has a little bit of a, kind of like a I guess kind of like a hokiness to it um, to its to its monster designs, and this one they just they just look really neat. I don't know, like the entire environment is really lush, but it's also got like this um, like it, it's really heavily shaded, so it's it's just the design is really cool. I don't know. I, I know that's a, it's a cop out to just say, oh, it's cool, but it is. Uh, that fire now. Fire time is now. Oh, well, uh, the forest is on fire and I'm in it. That's not great. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm guessing this will hurt. Yep, it will. <laughs> I'm guessing the fire hurts. Sure does. <laughs> Actually, why does it hurt me? I'm a fire demon. That shouldn't hurt me. I guess just because you're a fire demon doesn't necessarily mean that fire no longer hurts you. It just means you know what to do with fire. It's like a guy who knows how to use a sword is not suddenly, is not suddenly impervious to swords. Um, now, kind of a little cheat. Like, this this part of the stage is pretty tough. Um, because, you know, you've got this constant overhead fire thing. Fire drops all over the place. You've got these weird root guys that keep showing up that are kind of a nuisance. If it's too tough, there's actually kind of a cheat to it. And it will probably wind up being too tough for me. <laughs> Just because, I don't know, I suspect it will. Um, well, here's the end. Maybe not. Um, if you die and come back, the fire is burned out, and there's just, like, the, the entire overhead element is gone. Now, before we move on, because if I go that way, that's going to be the bosses. Uh, we're going to go down here with our buster shot. Super buster shot. Super buster shot. Um, have you ever noticed how many games use the word buster for, like, weapons and stuff? Seems strange to me. What is this? What are you? I got... thing. It, it, made, a, it made a song. Where am I? I guess I'm... I, I got it. What is it? Oh, it's a talisman. I found the talisman of the skull. So we don't know what that is, but we got we know someone in town who can help us out. So we're gonna talk to him after we beat the boss. But yeah, if you come back here after um after you basically if you go off the screen and come back, uh, the fire will be gone. It's not it's still there now because I haven't died yet. But if I were to die, it would be gone. But now we will fight the boss, and the boss this time is this fire elemental, I guess fire incarnation, which does things. He, he has, like, a bunch of different forms, like, he, he does that cat thing, he summons fire birds, and, um, he's got a lot of things that he does, and I don't like him, but his design is really cool. So, yeah, he's gonna keep throwing fire at me. He's also, I want to say he also has, like, different phases, like, I think right now he's in his basic state, but he's got, like, another form where he, uh, flies around, I want to say. We'll see. So far, things are going pretty well, though. Hopefully, I can hang in there. Turns into that. I, I think it, lo it looks to me like a cat. I haven't actually been able to look very much at the sprite because you're kind of avoiding him at, when you're when he's doing it. Er, I don't know. It just looks like a leaping cat to me. All right, so yeah, that, that's the, the first form down. And now he starts flying and kind of... He has, like, this wave pattern thing. He drops fire. And, um... He can switch from one to the other really fast, which is kind of annoying. Um, uh, so he's gonna probably wave form at me. Nope, swoop. So he's got this like swoopy move. 
You just got a bunch of flat flight patterns. Once once you know the patterns, it's not as bad. Um, you know, it, it's fortunate that I've already fought him before, so I have a general idea of how he fights. But the first time I fought this guy, I had to fight him numerous times. I kept bumping into him stupidly. Uh, almost die. Die you. I will beat you. Ow. You know, that's one of those basic video game things that I've never been good at for some reason. Timing with, like, how to, like, if an enemy is doing, like, what this guy's doing, where he's kind of slowly dropping flames or something. I often get baited into it. Did I beat him? I think I beat him. He's condensing. I can't move, so I'm guessing I did. And he leaves behind a something! What are you? You got the piece of the Firecrest called Tornado. With it, you can jump higher than before. Because that's a little misleading. Because what it actually does for you is it gives you, like, a shot that you can then jump onto. So it's a little strange, but anyway. So now that we have a talisman, we need to go back to town and see the old man who deals with talismans. And he will help us. He will teach us the power of the skull talisman. But first, I will show you the tornado. No, never mind. There we go. So you shoot this out, and you can, like, stand on it. That's what it does. So, I mean, it's a useful thing. It's kind of a cool platforming device. Um, but it's not really, it's, I, I want to say it's not a great attack, so it's mostly just for getting around. All right, knock, knock. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'm Firebrand. How are you? I have a talisman. This is the talisman called Skull. It allows you to capture soul energy more easily. So, I think what he's saying there is that it makes it more likely that enemies will drop, like, health. Does it tell me? Yeah, I, th I think that guy's the only one that will tell you. So, in it, like, when, when things, uh, when I break things, or, um, uh, like windows, or I break pots, I'm more likely to find, uh, better health items, or health items in general. So, that's what, that's what most of the talismans do. They just kind of, like, give you a little, like, buffs or bonus effects, so... Um, I see that we still have time in the episode, so I will, I will go ahead and continue to the next stage. The next stage is the wind stage. So let us go there. It's over in the east. It's over in the east. There's these little towers here. Hello, little towers. I will land on you. I will land on you. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I will land on you. There we go. I want to say, if I remember correctly, this is a very short stage, too. Um, it's cool, though. Like, again, look at the amazing design. Like, all of the intricate little things, these, like, columns back here that are carved, the way they deal with light and shadow for the for the terrain, so you always know where you, like, what's actually active in this scene. Just a lot of, a lot of really great work went into this. It's a neat game. Very cool. I'm lucky down there. <laughs> so, so, I, guess, I guess that was a humble brag. Sorry about that. But I am happy that I own it. <laughs> Still have, uh, God, I had to pay pay a lot for it, but, you know, it is what it is. Look at these little happy, like, well, I guess maybe happy's not the right word. They sort of look, ah, they look happy. Little, little skull pillar things. I didn't even comment on these guys. Oh, I can break that. Hang on. I can break that. I can break that. I can break that. There's probably treasure in there. And I want it. Give me the treasure right now. Uh, oh no! Ah! Oh, oh, I'm throwing a tantrum! I'm throwing a tantrum! Ah! Oh, I can't get in there! You, like, for whatever reason, Firebrand can't duck. So, like, you always have to find ways to get on a lower plane to shoot when this happens. Uh, eh. Eh. Oh no! Stupid thing! No! Ah! Uh. <laughs> I want to get in there. Eh, stupid tongue thing. Get out of my face. I got business to settle. Alright, eh, eh. Okay, good deal. <laughs> Problem solved. Eh, oh, it's a bottle. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, like, ah, oh, there's just so much, so much well done game design in this, you know? Like, it, it's so, like, so many things are immediately clear, you know? It's like, I know where... 
I know where the 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 the, the uh, stage terrain is. I know what's background and what's not. Um, the colors are designed to make Firebrand still pop out, but um, it's it's not all the same palette. It's just really neat. I don't know. Gush, 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 gush. And now we're in the wind. So as you can see, there's wind physics, um, and we will have to deal with that. Fortunately, we have the Buster Shot. So the first time I did this stage, um, I did not have. I want to say I didn't have the the Buster Shot. Um, although now, I'm, let's see. Yeah, yeah, because um, I, I didn't have the Buster Shot, and uh, I, I didn't really show it off much there. But those um, those like flying suits of armor. If you don't have the Buster Shot. You can only hit them from behind. And so I actually learned to get through that without firing a shot. And it was very tricky. Now, before I move on, because the boss is over there, I want to point this out. You see that tornado down below me? What does that look like to you? A hazard, right? Just like like a thing? Like either a hazard or like background? Nope, it is an entire other stage. <laughs> That's how you get to the other stage. I had to look it up online because I was completely stuck at, the, at, at like at one point in the game, because I was like, where else can I go? Like, I had combed through this level over and over again, trying to find that out. Turns out it's right down there, so we'll go there next time. But for the time being, it's let us fight the boss. It's this man-headed mantis dragonfly. And it makes a nasty chittering sound with its, with its wings, and we will fight it. Um... Yeah, this guy is also one of the, one boss that I uh, had to fight over and over again. Not really because it's necessarily hard to fight. Like it's not its movements aren't hard to follow or anything like that. It's just uh like you kind of get used to the movement engine in this game over time, but until you do, it feels weird because like much of much of playing the game as Firebrand, or much of playing the game as, like, the Red Demon form of Firebrand, the basic form of Firebrand, involves you knowing exactly how high and where to set your hovering. Because if you set, set it in the wrong place, you can't go up, so you're just gonna either crash into whatever you're trying to jump over, or you're not gonna be, um, you know, you, well, you're gonna crash into whatever you're flying over. Um, so you have to kind of get used to that. Now, also, when the first time I fought this, as I mentioned, I didn't have the Buster Shot, which means that, well, the Buster Shot's the same power, so I don't know, I'm just, I'm just doing well. I'm just doing well, that's all. <laughs> just doing good, doing super good, humble brag again, <laughs> doing super good, and I'm happy about it. Yep, beat him, okay, good deal. He took many more tries my first time, so I'm happy for that. And now he will crash and his parts are flying everywhere and it's all very significant and then he kind of veers at the end and I get you got the piece of the firecrest called claw with it you can climb up walls so that's a bit misleading again uh it's not that you can climb up walls it's that you can put things on walls and climb them in places where you wouldn't be able to so like I mentioned in, in I think the first episode that like there's something you can put on spikes to climb. That's it. I don't... I, it's... The description's not very good. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I am the Lord Chicken. This is Demon's Crest. And as always, thanks for stopping by.